What's going on guys, I'm Jason Park, I'm a filmmaker, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about what camera I think you should purchase if you're a first time filmmaker and you don't have a lot of money to spend. You know what, let's just play the footage. Life as we know it has ended. It's been a, it's been seven days since I've heard from anybody. And, and, and these things, they keep, they keep All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That literally took me about 20 minutes to, to film to make for you guys, just to show you an example of where technology has come to up until this point. And that camera and that kit is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo for 600 something dollars. That video you just saw was created with that camera. And the reason why I think that after using it and experiencing it, I'm shooting this vlog with it, um, why I think you should, if you're a first time filmmaker working on an indie project, why I think you should consider something like the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is because it gives you flexibility, it gives you good image quality, it gives you a wide enough lens where you can capture interior, exterior shots. And then if you want the bokeh, all you have to do is move the camera in and you can get the bokeh. So, you know, you have the audio with the mic, you have everything you need to create a film project. Now it's going to be up to you to create something compelling. It's gonna be up to you to create that good sound design but at this point, you know, if you go and make something in 4K on the DJI and you shoot it in log and you go and edit it and you add your, your spaz on it, there's no reason why you can't create a beautiful, beautiful film. You know, we live in a day and age where it's no longer, there's no longer an excuse to say, oh, well, I don't have this camera or I don't have this lens, right? It's you how you handle light, how you frame your shots, your composition, and what you do with your equipment. Now, mind you, I shot that little piece. I didn't add any extra lights. I didn't bring my big boy lights. I didn't set up any of that. I used the natural light in the bathroom. And that's how I shot that, right? And I shot that kind of as a, as a you know, Blair Witch camera style project where I kind of gave you both, right? You saw a shot where you didn't really see the, the, the handheld camera, right? Where it wasn't directly in my face. And then I showed you what it looked like if the camera was directly right in my face because I was talking to the camera. But the DJI gives you so many options as a first time filmmaker. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're shooting a big budget film, right? But if you're shooting an indie film with you and your friends, you wrote something, you don't really have a budget. Maybe you can buy some pizza and you're like, man, I, I just need to go out and create instead of waiting, right? That's the biggest thing with creators and filmmakers. You just gotta go do it. You cannot wait. And if right now your budget is super limited, work with what you got. The DJI Creator Combo Kit will give you more tools to create a professional product that can go a lot further then your cell phone. And if you didn't have that, I would say shoot it on your cell phone. But the DJI allows you to shoot and log. It allows you to control certain things. It allows you to see what you're looking at in front of the camera and behind the camera, right? So you're able to move and do things that you can't do with an iPhone and still have that stable quality, right? So if you're sitting there and you're thinking like, man, I really want to shoot my first feature film. I really want to, but I just, I don't know. 
at that 15 millimeter length, you can even go wider. It comes with a wider lens. You know, you can capture so much. And what it does is that you don't have to worry about lenses. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All you have to worry about is what is in frame. That is the most important thing. What is in frame and how it looks and how you are lighting it. So that is just my opinion on my thoughts. You know, if I was 18, 20, 30, but 18, let's say I'm 18 years old, right? And I was working on my first film. Let's go back to Rex Park, right? I, I created a PG-13 version on YouTube called Bad Luck Buddha. It's on, it's on the channel. But let's say I was working on that. When I did that, I bought the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, the lenses, lights, all that good stuff. And I'm glad I did because I learned a lot. And then it helped me make these other projects better, right? But no budget film, right? Just, just no budget. This right here would have allowed me to be more creative as to what and how I had it in camera. So with the first film, I didn't have a gimbal. I had a shoulder rig. And when you watch it, right? And even with uh, Four Amigos, right? Um, that, I didn't have a gimbal. I had a shoulder rig. So sometimes when you see some of the footage, it's shaky, right? Because at the time, I just couldn't afford to buy a gimbal. And a good gimbal to hold all that weight, you're spending $700, so by this having that gimbal, it gives you, in a mechanical gimbal with that, it gives you that stability that allows you to capture creative shots, you know, doing all this crazy stuff or just kind of holding it there. And it looks like it's almost a, as if it's on a tripod, but it still has that slight human shake. It gives you all of that. So you can just focus on what's in front of the camera and the audience only cares about what's in front of the camera. They don't care how it was made because your project will be compared to every other 10, 15, $100 million film out there. It just is, right? Your indie film is not gonna be like, ah, it's good for an indie. No, it's, it's compared to everything else that the consumers are used to watching. So my vote for a first time filmmaker that does not have a budget would be to get the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Then, if you have higher than $1,000, maybe go look at a used Blackmagic 4K and get a lens, right? And then you decide what lenses you like. But I'll make that for a different video, the kind of tiers of cameras that I recommend. Anyways, good luck. Talk to you guys soon.